Good evening, everybody, and welcome to those present here and those who have joined us on Zoom online from worldwide. My name is Sandra. You may well recall me from week one when I facilitated the first week in, in the session. And before we start the session today, I'm going to just, for the benefit of the people in the room, quickly run through the housekeeping. So we're not expecting a fire alarm, but should one go off, we will vacate through the doors and um, meet up in the car park. Toilets are out here on the right, as you well know. Um, if you've got a mobile with you, please turn it to silent. And could you please remember to sign in and complete the evaluation before leaving. Um, for those of you on Zoom, could we please ask you not to touch the mute button? You'll be muted from this end, so please don't touch the mute button. Okay, so to progress now, um, Welcome again to the sixth and final session of this course one. The vision of the Relaxation and Enlightenment course is to promote three things. Number one, mental and physical well-being among humanity. Number two, amicable interactions among humanity. And number three, to enlighten attendees on process of achieving a feel-good factor in their personal lives. Um, we enjoy a weekly speak from Dr. Lakhar, and this being the sixth one, tonight he will be talking about, do you know what you really want? It's another little piece of the jigsaw, and for those of you that have been with us throughout, um, I hope you're all enjoying the sessions and making little subtle changes to the way you, you, you go through and feeling the benefits. Okay, so to remind you, Dr. Lakhar is a retired GP and has written a worldwide renowned book, Heads You Win and Tells You Win a book that is all about human nature, as well as another book on 40 relationship problems and how to prevent them. He's the World Peace Ambassador and founder and chairman of HACOT, a registered charity in the UK. So welcome to Dr. Lacker. Thank you, Sandra. Uh, Sandra has mentioned uh, what my topic is, but I want to draw your attention to the human mind which is an amazing tool, but the human beings only use 10 to 15% of its capacity. So it is a fantastic tool, the brain, but people don't use it much. And those who do use it is only 10 to 15% capacity. The other thing is everyone in this world is gifted. You all have a gift. Some of you know about the gift that you have, but there are others who don't even know they have a gift. There is a possibility of developing that gift and also excelling in life. But the worst problem is there are a lot of people who don't know what is good for them and what is bad for them. They are not aware. And some of them keep making blunders and also going through a lot of upheavals in life just because they are not careful. It is no secret that there is so much unhappiness, frustration, aggression, and frequent and unusual types of crimes partnership breakups and problems of children. And then there's a the work problems, unemployment, financial problems, and upheaval of different kinds. There's so much going on at the moment. All that explains the absence of smiles and laughter, but abundance of tears, too painful to watch. Problems affecting human beings have been there from time immemorial, are there and will be there. Only the pattern of the problems keeps changing. You have different types of problems in your childhood, adolescence, uh, during marriage, uh, when you have children, and in your senior years. The pattern keeps changing, but the problems are there. Human nature does not change, but human beings 
and the environment keeps changing. As each and every day of our life involves dealing with human beings and human nature, in one form or the other, don't you think it is prudent to spend some time trying to understand what is human nature and trying to learn to accept human nature and trying to cope with it? It is important that you try and understand human nature. A lot of the, the the substance of my talks have actually pointed out quite a few things about human nature. So it is advisable that you refer to my talks starting from series, some of the session one and onwards, and you will find all those bits about human nature. Common courtesy and showing respect towards others does not cost anything but enables you to achieve what you really want. This topic is about, do you know what you really want? It is also no secret that all of you, including myself, want to be happy, want to have inner peace, want to be organized, want an enjoyable, happy relationship, want to communicate effectively and avoid problems, and you all want peace and harmony at home. We all want this. Yes, it is possible to have all of that and more. But how? It just doesn't come so easy. Anything good in life, one has to work for it and towards it. So it is possible to have all those things that you want in life. You have to give before you get. This is a very simple equation. You have to give before you get. It's not easy, but this is a, a very important equation in the lives of human beings. It works. And also remember, the more you sow, the more you reap. It's a universal law. The law works to give you back more than you have sown. Now, this is where you need to put in your efforts to achieve all those things that you want. It doesn't just come automatically. Your efforts to please your family, your friends, colleagues, neighbors, and even strangers will be reciprocated. They are human beings, they understand. You need to work smart, not hard. Make compromises and sacrifices. Keep your ego aside. Sometimes you need to be patient and tolerant for the greater good. It is not easy, I'm saying it, I know, but it pays dividends in the long run. You will also have more of indirect benefits. What are they? You will be better off financially, have lots of self-confidence, and will enjoy better sleep. Research has proved that you'll be more energetic and have fewer chances of physical and mental illness. This is when you, you try and maintain a good relationship, not only with your partner, but with friends, colleagues, family, neighbors, and that also helps uh, with what I've just mentioned. And your children will be happy and self-confident and will be prone to fewer problems when they themselves grow up and have their own families. During your journey in this world, 
you also want to feel relaxed. Silence, meditation, and prayer is a great aid to achieve a relaxed mindset. We all have a natural gift, as I mentioned. You may know about it, or you may not be aware of it. Also, you need to be aware that we as humans are using only 10 to 15% capacity of our brains. You have to develop that ability to use more capacity of your brain. It is possible. You have to sit back in a quiet place and reflect. You will identify the gift. You will be able to develop that gift. It could be any type of gift. And there are lots of things that you can do, which others can't do, but to you, it's something that is naturally uh, available to you. Be one of those few who look after unfortunate people. You see, because everybody in this world earns a living, looks out of the family, or looks after themselves. Uh, only very few people look after those who are unfortunate people. Be one of those few. There is so much happiness that is derived from giving to others without expecting either publicity or anything in return. Be a philanthropist, even on a smaller scale. Do it. When you give, it gives you happiness and it is all natural. So try it out. So now you know what you really want. But then there are certain things that you don't want. You don't want problems. Accept the problems as they arise and develop strategies of coping with them. Problems make you wiser and stronger. So it is a positive stimulus. When you have problems, don't ever be frightened or don't ever get upset. It, the problems have come to make you stronger and wiser. If you have elderly parents alive, visit them regularly. You might be 65 years old, but you are still their baby. These visits give them so much pleasure. Your children are watching you on how you treat your own parents and they will take it as a family tradition and you in your old age will also get the same treatment from your own children. You have to provide, provide a good upbringing to your children so that they can have a sense of belonging to the family. This sense of belonging generates happiness, mental and physical well-being. This is proved by research. Now, I have endeavored to share my knowledge and experience with you all. A lot of what I've mentioned is already in published form in my book, Heads You Win, Tells You Win. I hope and pray all of you enjoy a happy, healthy, and prosperous long life with fulfillment. Thank you. very much Dr. Lutka and I, I hope that you're all ready to embrace all the knowledge that's been imparted and we're all empowered now to move ahead with this as, as we choose. Um, so now moving on for our meditation and yoga tutor tonight it gives me great pleasure to introduce Miss Mita Shah who is going to take you through meditation and yoga. 
Uh, yoga is the greatest gift that Mita has ever received, a gift she would love to share with us all. She's been practicing yoga for over 25 years and has been teaching since 2009. It is amongst uh, many other things, an abundance of joy, peace, calmness, physical, mental and emotional strength, confidence and a better understanding of who she is. She's received over 700 hours of formal yoga teacher training. This includes qualifying in classical yoga with the Bushy School of Yoga in 2009 and subsequent qualifications at the gold and advanced platinum levels with Chikri Yoga. Nita, welcome. Thank you, Sandra. Uh, namaste, welcome all. Welcome to our online students as well. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, thank you for your time. If you were not here, then I wouldn't have been here. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you all for being here and joining me today to share my joy of yoga, something that has been given to me which I think is a most valuable gift of all times. As Sandra mentioned, it has given me so much strength, so much joy, so much peace, and also to know who I am. And so it's a, it's a passion for me. And uh, I would like to share that with you. And I hope that you enjoy the session too. So we'll just start with the basic grounding. So I'd like you to sit comfortably onto the mat or on the chair, wherever you are today. And then allow your shoulders to be drawn up and back, letting the hands rest comfortably onto your knees, palm turned upwards towards the ceiling. From there, allow the spine to lengthen. So just imagine there's a thread on the top of the crown of your head and somebody pulling that thread gently. Just lift yourself up nicely. If you're sitting on the chair, don't lean too back on the chair. Allow yourselves to come forward with the feet firmly rooted to the mat. Allow the chin to be parallel to the ground underneath you. And then if you've not already done so, allow the eyelids to gently lower. Just take a few moments for you to be here. 
I know you are here physically in your room or in this room. People at home are in their own spaces, but I want you to bring yourselves here mentally in the present moment. And the best way to connect with yourself now, to bring yourself to work within, is via the breath. So I'd like you to now connect yourself and just observe your breathing as you inhale and as you exhale. Don't force the breathing, don't control the breath. Just observing as you breathe in, the abdomen rising, as you breathe out, the abdomen relaxing. Observing the natural flow of your breath. Slowly start to deepen your breathing. Breathe deeply. And hear the soft sound of your breath as you inhale and as you exhale. Invite a sense of appreciation, of gratitude for each breath, for this gift of life. Now bringing your hands, keeping the eyes closed, bring your hands into your prayer position in front of your heart. And then invite and pray to go forward in life. In every breath, in every step, and with every intention for this wonderful gift of life, the breath. Remember that each inhalation is a gift. Each exhalation is your responsibility. Your responsibility to let go. A couple of more deep inhalations. And exhalations, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And one last time, inhale and exhale. And when you feel ready, Allow the eyelids to gently raise. Release the hands back to your side. You're feeling more connected to yourself now in the present moment. Inhaling, both the arms up towards the ceiling. Stretch, stretch. Exhaling, bring the arms up at shoulder height. Inhaling once more. Arms up towards the ceiling, stretch. As you exhale, twist your trunk to the left, bringing both the arms out at shoulder height. Beautiful. Inhaling back to center. Exhaling, twisting to your right, bringing both the arms out at shoulder height. Inhaling both the arms up towards the ceiling, stretch. Exhaling, releasing the hands down. If you're on the chair, get hold of the chair on the side. If you're on the mat, allow the hands to be out to the fingers pointing out to the side. Inhaling, both right arm up towards the ceiling, stretch, stretch. Now keeping the right hip on the mat or the chair. As you exhale, bending your trunk to the left. Let the right arm come over your right ear. Feel the stretch onto the right side of your body. Inhaling, bringing the top arm up first. As you exhale, release the arm back to the side. 
Inhaling, left arm up towards the ceiling, stretch. As you exhale, bending your trunk to the right. Make sure that the left hip remains on the mat or the chair. Inhaling, bring the arm up first, and then exhaling, release the hand. Inhaling, both the arms up towards the ceiling, stretch. As you exhale, bending forward from the hips, keeping the head in line with the spine, place your hands wherever they reach on the chair, on the mat. Keep on looking beyond your fingers and then walk your hands further forward with each exhalation. Breathe deeply. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. And exhale, go forward. Now slowly, walk your hands to the left. Walk both the hands to your left, on the chair or on the mat. Placing your right hand over your left hand. Now take three deep inhalations and exhalations. Breathe into the right side of the body, including your right hip. Inhale. Exhale, right side, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Release the right hand back on the floor. Bring yourselves back to center. Now walk your hands to the right, placing your left hand on to your right palm. Now breathe into the left side, including the left hip. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Release the left hand off the right hand. Bring yourself back to center. Draw the hands in, inhale, both the arms up towards the ceiling, stretch. Exhaling this time once more, bending forward. See if you made a difference. Have the arms gone further forward? Yes, beautiful, beautiful. One more deep breath in and out. Inhale and exhale slowly. Releasing the hands, walk the hands back to center. Now taking your right hand up towards the ceiling, stretch. Place your right palm onto the back of your heart. Now with your left hand, nudge that left elbow backwards so that the right palm walks further down towards the back of your heart. Beautiful. Spine upright, nice and tall. Inhale. As you exhale now, bend your trunk to the left. Use your left hand to help you bend further, opening up the right side of your body. Breathe. Don't forget to breathe, the gift of life. Inhale, back to center. Switch hands. Now left palm onto the back of your heart, right arm, Nudging the elbow down further so that the left hand goes further towards the back of your heart. Spine nice and tall, chest and heart out to the front. Inhale, and as you exhale, bend your trunk to the right. Use your right hand to help you bend further to the right. Feel a stretch onto the left side of your lip rib cage. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, release both the hands. There's a good stretch and a few shoulder rotations. One way, big circle. Really get those synovial fluid flowing with the movement. And reverse. And relax. And one more time. Let's see if you made the difference. Inhale, both the arms up towards the ceiling, stretch. Exhaling, bend forward. Are you going further beyond your 
first time? Have you gone further forward? Have the fingers gone further forward from your chair? Yes, beautiful. Inhale slowly, bring the arms back to center and release. Release the legs out to the front. If you're sitting on a chair, bring both the legs on your chair. If you're sitting on the mat, bring both the feet out onto your mat and just rotate into those ankles a few times one way, giving a good stretch to the ankles, to the front, to the side, to the back and to the side. Really work onto those ankle joints and reverse the direction. Beautiful. And slowly release. And if you are on the mat, bringing yourself onto your hands and knees. If you are on the chair, release the legs back onto the floor. And bring yourself onto your hands and knees. So people on the chair can now bring both the hands onto the front chair, uh, so you're still sitting down. So we're working into the cat posture. If you're on the mat, the hands are directly underneath the shoulders, the knees are directly underneath the hips. If you're on the chair, lean forward slightly on your back chair where you're sitting on and come a little bit forward so that your hands are like under your shoulders and the feet are on the mat. Look to the front so that it's your cat, uh, flat cat position. And we are now going to open the front and the back of the spine. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, lift the middle of the spine up, bring the chin to the chest and rotate your hips in. This is called the arched cat. Inhaling, back to your flat cat, back to central. As you exhale now, head and bottom goes up, and the middle of the spine goes down. This is called the inverted cat, head and bottom up. Inhale back to your flat cat, exhaling into your arch cat. Inhaling back to your flat cat, exhaling into inverted cat. One last time, inhale back to your flat cat, exhaling into your arch cat. Beautiful, get the hang of it. The middle of the spine goes up, chin to the chest. Good. Exhaling, inhaling back to your flat, exhaling back to your inverted cat, head and bottom up, middle of the spine down. And slowly bring yourself back to center. And for the moment, just take a relief from those hands and rotate into those wrists. Are you guys okay? Yes. Good. Are you feeling it? Yes, I do. Good. Okay. So we're now going to work on a twist. So people on the uh, chair, use the second chair. Bring your hands back onto all fours. People on the mat, on fours. Okay. So from here, visualize. I mean, take your right hand behind your left. and the fingers are pointing to the left. So you are the cat and imagine that there's a mouse soul on the left side. So you start walking that right hand towards that mouse soul. Okay, and slowly lower the right side of the face down. Turn the right palm up towards the ceiling. And then once you've done that, bring the left arm out to the front. Straighten it out to the front. Beautiful. This is now opening up the back of your left shoulder. Scoop it through. Scoop it through. The right hand behind your left. Yes. Light right hand behind your left and scoop it through. Beautiful. Breathe now. With each exhalation, stretch in both directions with your right hand and your left hand. I hope the guys at home are also doing the same thing. Beautiful, breathe, breathe. Now slowly inhaling, bring the right arm up and all the way up to the ceiling. As you exhale, 
Now scoop it through once more. Inhaling up, all the way up. Stretch and twist. Exhaling, scoop it through. And one last time, inhaling all the way up and twist, hold and twist. Hold for five, don't forget to breathe. Hold for four, hold for three, hold for two, hold for one, and scoop it through for the last time. Feel the back of the right shoulder getting a good stretch. And slowly the mouse runs away, slowly come up. Back to your hands and knees. Good for opening up the shoulders. Did you feel that, guys? And then in yoga, we always get double the pleasure because we have to do both the sides. So same thing on the other side. Okay, so this time, it's the left hand behind the right. Fingers pointing to, left fingers pointing to the right. Okay, so now slowly start walking the fingers forward. And then drop the left side of the face down on the mat or the chair and bring the right arm out to the front. Breathe. With each exhalation, keep on stretching in both directions, left hand and your right hand. Beautiful, guys. Don't forget to breathe. Slowly inhale. Lift that left arm up towards the ceiling and twist. Exhale, scoop it through. Inhale up and twist. Beautiful. Exhale, scoop it through. Inhale up and twist. Exhale, scoop it through. And the last time, inhale up and twist and hold and breathe. Hold for five, for four, keep on twisting, for three, for two, for one, and scoop it through for the last time. Beautiful. And slowly untwist, are coming up and rotate into those wrists if you need to. Rotate into the shoulders if you need to. A few times one way, a few times the other way. Okay, so if you're using the chair, you may go behind the chair. If you're on the mat, bring yourself onto your hands and knees once more. And then taking your right foot behind you. Keep hold of the chair and point the heel away. Just rock forward and backwards. Feel the back of the right leg getting a good stretch as you rock forward and backwards. Can you feel that, guys? Yeah. Back of the legs. This is working into your hamstrings. Now bring the right knee back or the right foot back. Same thing with the left. Bring your left toes back. Come onto your left toes on the mat. And then just rock forward and backwards, pushing the heel away as much as you can. Keeping the left toes as they are. Let the right toes join. And then lift yourself up into downward facing dog. Lifting your hips up towards the ceiling. Bringing the chest in closer to the sides. Lowering the heels to the mat. Those people who are on the chair, try and bend down as much as possible. Be mindful if you're wearing socks and breathe. Back of the legs nice and straight. Bring the chest in towards the thighs. Drop the crown of the head down to relax the neck and lengthen the neck. Beautiful. Hold for five, for four, for three, for two, for a smile at your toes, for one, and drop the knees down. Well then, guys, that was a long hold. Rotate into those wrists. 
really, really good. The downward dog is a very, very good posture. So many things happening in that posture. Hamstrings at a good stretch, but the neck lengthens in both directions. The body lengthens in both directions. You are doing an upside down turn, so you're getting a free fascia with free of charge. Anything which is lodged in your abdominal area gets dislodged. You know, like when something stuck in a bottle and you do this, this is what happens in downward dog. When you go upside down, anything which is stuck there gets dislodged. Okay, so we're going to do downward dog again. But now, for people who want to take it a bit further from downward dog, so you can still do that from the chair, but be mindful. We are going to now work to the, towards the feet as well. So from downward dog, we're going to gently lift our right leg up towards the ceiling. So from this posture, what happens is that if there's any stale blood in the feet, with the power of gravity, it brings the blood, stale blood back to the heart for purification. Okay, so now bring yourself back to your downward facing dog. Tuck your toes in at the back from all fours and lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Beautiful. Now, only if it's possible for you, be mindful. If you are on the working with the chair, lift the right leg up towards the ceiling. Beautiful. Point the toes away. Allow the leg to be straight as possible. Hold for five, for four, for three, for two one and lower the leg down and bend both the knees take a breather rotate into the wrist so while one leg is lifted up the other leg is just working extra hard so it's strengthening that standing leg as well okay it's very very good because all the weight is now on your arms so it's helping you build up bone density especially when you grow old when we fall, we want to avoid fractures. So people with good building up density, it helps with building that strength. Okay, so now double the pleasure way to do the other side. Take yourself into downward facing dog. Now be careful, slowly take a breath in. As you breathe out, lift the left leg up towards the ceiling. Point the toes away. Allow the leg to be as straight as possible. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hold for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Gently lower the leg down and slowly walk your feet towards your hands. Bring yourselves into standing. You must be desperate to stand up now. You can bring yourself into standing. You okay? Yeah. Rotate into the shoulders if you feel there is tightness there. Listen to the body. Don't think, see, feel what is happening. It's not about what you can do. It's about how you feel. Okay? It's not about what you can do because we are all on the same journey. But it's how you feel when you come out of this room. Do you feel better than when you first came to the class? That's more important. That's the reward you have. It's not what you can do here. We don't want to tie ourselves in knots and crosses. We have to untie the knot which we have created internally. That is what yoga is. Untying those knots which are there, which are here. And this is what should be happening as you start untying, opening, opening, you feel at peace, you feel more open, you, you feel more happy. Okay, so from here. Now, bringing your feet hip width apart. This is for your thighs, this is for your knees, and this is for your back. You're working to as a chair posture. As always, listen to the body, only do as much as you can. If you feel tired, Come out of the posture. Same goes for pe um, people at home. Okay, so from here, inhaling both the arms up towards the ceiling, stretch, arms towards your ears. Body remains the same, head remains above the hips. Now take another breath in. As you breathe out, 
Bend the knees. Bend the knees. Beautiful. This is the posture of the chair. Try not lean forward. Bring the knees out with the front. Arms remain stretched. So the arms are looking for the ceiling. The hips are looking for the floor. You will start feeling your thighs. You will start feeling your knees. Hold for five. For four. For three. For two. For one. Inhale. Straighten the arms. Exhale. Now that was Papa Bear's chair. We need to go towards Mama Bear's chair and Baby Bear's chair. If you know what I'm talking about, you all heard Goldilocks story, yes? Go a bit lower if you can, but obviously listening to the body. Feet hip. So when we come in chair, make sure the knees are just rolling out to the front. They're not going out to the side or in, okay? Nothing moves. All we're doing is just bending the knee. Okay? Okay, let's try again. Inhale, both the arms up. Stretch, stretch. Keep those arms stretched towards the ceiling. Take another breath in. As you breathe out, work towards mama bear's chest. Start bending your knees. Don't lean forward. Start bending your knee. A little bit lower. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, if you're able to, only if you're able to, look up between your two hands. If you can't, it's fine. Hold for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Head back to center. Inhaling, lift up. Exhaling, lower. Did you feel the knees? Did you feel the thighs? Okay, say so thank you both, both to both the legs for allowing you to stand, be in a chair position. Did all of you go lower? I did. Very good. Very good. Very good for the knees. Very good for the core. Very good for the back. Okay, so even if you practice this at home, be mindful, listening to the body. Very, very good for the knees as well. Okay, from here, I want you to come to the front of the mat. Um, if you are working on the chair, you can stay behind the chair. Now, if you're in the front of the mat, I want you to take your left hand out to the left. Yeah, so the left leg out to the left. So we are all facing the same direction. So you twist, turning. Yes, like, uh, yeah. Okay, so you, I'm sorry about this. You might have to look at me and turn your head. Now, turn your right foot out to the side. So you will see that the right heel is dissecting the back foot. Okay, so also the left foot, the toes are pointing to the front. It's the right foot, the toes are out to the side. Now bend your right knee and see if the right knee is above your right ankle. If it's going beyond your ankle, you need to widen your stride. Be mindful if you're wearing socks or you haven't got a mat. Now press the outer edge of the left foot on the mat. Press that left foot on the mat. The left leg is straight. Now look to the front and bring your hands into prayer. So look to the front. Bring your hands into prayer. Straighten the right leg first. Keep the same feet. Inhale, take both the arms out to the side. As you exhale, bend your right knee. Inhale, hands back to prayer. Straighten your arm, uh, hands back to prayer. Exhaling, back to the warrior position. Inhale, straighten, hands into prayer. Warming up the knees, warming up the thighs, warming up the legs, exhaling. Now hold, turn your head to look towards your right fingers and beyond. Posture of the warrior on the right. Arms at shoulder height and feel like a warrior. Brave, strong, really powerful. Press the outer edge of the back foot on the mat. 
Be like a warrior. A warrior never gives up, fights all is better. Repeat after me. I'm a soul, soul to skin. There is no battle that I cannot win. Like you mean it. I'm a soul, soul to skin. There is no battle that I cannot win. Now I want you to be that warrior. Believe in yourself. You are that warrior. Whatever battles you have got, you've got your swords out to the side, helping you fight your battles. Visualize your battles beyond your fingers. Visualize that you are cutting through your battles with your swords. And beyond those, you can see a palace of peace. Beautiful. Inhaling, slowly straighten the arms, turn the right foot in. How did you find that warrior posture? Did you feel like a warrior? Beautiful. Same thing on the other side, double the pleasure. Left foot out to the side now. Okay, bend your left knee and see if the left knee is above your left ankle. Widen the stride if you need to. Hands into prayer in front of your heart. Thank you. Inhale, straighten the arms. Straighten the leg. This time, as you exhale, bend that left knee. Inhale, hands to prayer. Straighten the left leg. Exhale, swords come out to the side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now turn your head to look to the left, beyond your left fingers. Your battles on the left side now. Battles come from everywhere. Right, left, middle, center. Look towards your left. Fight your battles. I am a warrior, soul to skin. There is no war that I cannot win. Beautiful. To build up strength and stamina in your arms, lift both the arms higher than shoulder width, shoulder width apart. Slowly inhaling, straighten the front leg, exhaling. Center the feet, walk the feet. Feel a warrior within. Are you feeling like a warrior? Strong, powerful. Okay, from there, I'd like you to bring your feet hip width apart. And once more, inhaling both the arms up to the ceiling, interlink the fingers, stretch. Turn the palms up. Now take a breath in. This will become a balancing posture as you exhale, come on your toes. If you need to get hold of a wall or a chair, by all means do so. Keep on rising, tall, like a mountain. Hold for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. And release the heels down and release the hands down. The final balancing posture, if you're near a table or a chair or the wall, if you find it comfortable, you can just get hold of the chair and take support of the chair to come onto your, so bringing the right leg down, left leg tucked in to the inside of your thigh or lower, whichever feels comfortable for you today. It doesn't have to go high up. It can be a short tree, a higher tree, doesn't matter. Whichever you, if you're holding onto the chair, Bring the left arm out to the front, 
in the half prayer position. If you're stable, wrap the right hand joint as well. Don't forget to breathe. Beautiful. Beautiful. Very good. Very good. Slowly release the left leg out to the front and down. Say thank you with the right leg. Same thing on the other side. This time, left leg down, right leg in. Once more, if you need to. And there, half prayer. And then both the hands if you feel okay. Elbows out to the side. The prayer a little bit out to the front, away from the heart. Nice, strong tree. Beautiful. Slowly release the right leg out to the front. Release the hand. Say thank you to the left leg. And then the final breath, mountain breath. So think of a mountain and the qualities of a mountain. What does the mountain represent to you all? It's strong. It's stable. It's wide. It's tall. So many things can go around the mountain. The rains, the storms, the wind. So many things. Does the mountain move? The mountain remains still. I want you to bring those qualities of the mountain in your heart. As Dr. Laka was saying, we have all sorts of things throwing at us, but you as a mountain remain still, remain calm. So you become that mountain with stability, with strength, with calmness. So we work with the mountain breath. Feet hip width apart. Hands into prayer. You may start with the eyes open and then when you find out what we're doing, you may close them. Inhaling, lifting both the arms up towards the ceiling, stretch. We calm that tall mountain. As you exhale, gather all those qualities of the mountain of calmness, of peace, of strength, of stability, and slowly bring those qualities back to your heart. Inhaling, use your breath, lifting both the arms up, stretch, exhaling, gathering all the qualities of the mind. And gradually bringing those qualities back to your heart. And one more mountain breath, inhaling. Close your eyes this time. Feel that mountain within you. Stretch, stretch. Exhaling, gather all the qualities of the mountain. Of peace, of calmness, of strength, of stability. Whatever goes around the mountain, the mountain remains still. Bring those qualities back to your heart. Keep the eyes closed. Release the hands out to the side. Recognize your feet. How are the feet feeling? Are they feeling strong? Are you feeling stable? Are you feeling calm? Have you gathered the qualities of the mountain within you? And keep your eyes to gently open. And allow yourself to come down into sleep. Mm -hmm. It's the final meditation before we finish. Once more, allow yourself to Sit upright like, like how we started in the beginning, spine nice and tall. 
Shoulders drawn back, chest and heart open. Hands resting comfortably onto your knees. Palms turned upwards towards the ceiling. I'd like you to now allow the eyes to gently close and visualize that you're sitting on a nice sunny, sunny beach. And the waves of the ocean are rolling in and out. Every time you breathe in, visualize the waves of the ocean rolling in towards you. As you breathe out, visualize the waves of the ocean rolling away from you. Inhale, letting the new and the fresh come towards you. As you exhale, observe and let go of the, those things that are not wanted in your life. Inhaling, bringing in the fresh and the new as the waves of the ocean roll in. As you exhale, observe the ocean waves of the ocean rolling away, taking away of those things that are not wanted for you. Couple of breath, ocean breaths, rolling in and out. Bring in the qualities that you need with the waves coming in. Let go of the qualities you need to roll out as the ocean rolls away from you. And slowly allow the breath coming back to normal. Allow yourselves to be back in the room, bringing the chin to the chest first, and slowly lifting the head up. Observe the difference you made in the mind, in the body, in the breath. When you feel ready, allow the eyelids to gently rest. Thank you. If there are any questions, please do ask. Are you enjoying it? Didn't want to open the eyes, I could see that, but time doesn't permit us to be here for longer. Thank you all those who joined me online, off, online as well, and all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you very much to me T. that was a wonderful wonderful relaxing session and i personally feel an inch taller after that and because it's our last session in this first course on behalf of the relaxation and enlightening circle team i would like to thank you all for your participation and interest during the last six sessions We've come to the end of this first course and details for course two will be available on the website. To remind you, it's www.relaxationenlightenment.com. The format of course two has been changed, taking into account the feedback and comments received during this first course. It will be held online going forward and the link will be available on the website. We sincerely hope that you found course one enjoyable and informative 
and hope you are able to benefit. Thank you all very much for joining us. Thank you to those of you that have participated here in the room and a very special thank you to Dr. Larka for making this possible. Good night.